beautiful February day out here. It's actually like 40 degrees in Minnesota. We got tons of snow, but good day to be working in the garage. And today we are actually going to clean out the bass cat. We listed the boat like yesterday or the day before and got lots of serious inquiries. So I figured I don't have much time. Somebody's going to want to come grab this bad girl and make some memories of their own. So we're going to get it cleaned out and uh, that's going to be the process here. And then uh, we'll kind of hopefully meet the new owners here in just a second and uh, wish them the best of the luck. But either way, cleaning out the boat. This might be the end of the era. I actually got skunked the last two times I went out in my boat at the end of last year and Steve caught a walleye. Might have been the last boat caught in the bass cat for me. But I'm sure somebody's gonna make some great memories and catch plenty of hogs in this bad boy. But let's clean this out, get it all cleaned out, and then uh, maybe we'll give some hints on what's coming in the future. I can't believe this day has finally come. I got something to tell you. End of February, we're pulling the boat out of the garage. It's clearly winter, there's snow all over the ground. It's below freezing today, so there's one of two things happening. I'm either going down south to go fishing, or the boat is going somewhere. Come along for the ride, I'll kind of explain more, and uh, there's some big things coming, and uh, this is just the start. about to meet somebody. We got a little bit of a drive. We're going to meet somebody. And uh, to be honest, this could be the end of an era here. We are meeting somebody for a final inspection. If the old uh, dirty kitty bass cat Cantera looks good to them, they're going to be the new owner of it. So we're staring down, possibly being boatless. Uh, so I do not have a boat right now. If this one sells today, that will be boatless for a while. So we'll talk more about that. We want to put the cart before the horse. Let's see what happens today. Uh, let's see if uh, Mr. Aaron likes what he sees. And uh, we might be saying goodbye today on this video of a boat that's caught me a ton of bass. We've made a lot of memories. We've made a lot of videos. A lot of you guys have been along for the ride in this boat a lot. Stay tuned. This could be, uh, it's the end of a chapter, but then again, it's the beginning of a new chapter potentially here. All right, we're just about here. We're about to pull in. Meeting Aaron here at the Cabela's in Rogers. Gonna let him take a look at the boat, look it over, and hopefully uh, make this a done deal. So we'll take you along for the ride here to this transaction, and uh, and we'll talk about what could be next. What's what's on the plate? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do to remedy the situation of not having a boat? All right, we just did a walkthrough. Took a look. What are your thoughts, Aaron? Super excited about Super. it. I think it's a good boat, good price. Nice. A little bit of a project. You got some things you can kind of make your own and, and gives clean you something up. to do a couple months before the yeah, season for sure. Out. So you're and you're moving from a Lund or aluminum boat. Yep, yeah, a 1675 Lund Adventure. I kind of had it decked out for bass fishing, but going to this now. So, so you're jumping up the glass, and you went from a what horse to a 200 now? 90 horse. So he's gonna double up and then some. Yeah, I'll probably rip. pee my pants a little. So <laughs> looking forward to it. Awesome, cool. Yeah. Well, it sounds like we uh, should take Find care of the paperwork yeah. and uh, we'll hook this up and hop in your vehicle, huh? Get on his way. All right, thank you. All right, the paperwork signed. I'm about to hook this up to here and Chevy here, and the Bass Cat is gonna be on its way. So, not sure if we're gonna see her again, but. He lives in Minnesota a couple hours away, so maybe we'll see him out on the water. Maybe we'll see him at the state tournament up in Alexandria. Maybe we'll see her again, but probably not fishing in it again. All right, let's get him hooked up. Cool. Well, happy.
happy trails, dude. Thank you. Bust Have some big ones. View. Send yeah. me some pics when you stick some toads. Yeah. All right. Safe travels, dude. Saying goodbye. She's got a new home, new owner. Hopefully they stick a lot of toads, a bunch of giants, and make as many memories as I did in this boat. It's a weird moment to be boatless and leaving that bass cat behind and going home with nothing behind the Tahoe. But let's talk about that more and we'll talk about what the plans are going forward. All right, so Aaron now has that new bass cat or his new to him bass cat hooked up behind his truck. I am officially boatless for the foreseeable future. It really went way faster than I thought it was gonna go. This whole process took less than 10 days and it probably would have went even faster had I had work travel. Um, I literally listed this on like a Thursday, maybe a Friday. Uh, a bunch of you, friends, people that follow on Instagram, Facebook shared my posting. I posted it at the Bass Boat Marketplace. The only place I posted it, that they did their social post. I shared that, got shared around and Literally, I had two very interested buyers like the very next morning um, on Saturday. And then uh, I had other people calling in. And basically, if Aaron didn't want this, I had somebody else uh, not too far away that was literally going to the bank to get money if he didn't want it. So maybe I didn't price this high enough. Maybe I sold my boat way too cheap. But uh, thanks to Bassville Marketplace, good listing, good site. They did. It made my boat sell very fast. Maybe I should have charged more. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment. Maybe I gave this boat away. But now I'm working on a new option, a different boat. And I guess, what should we say? I've got a boat on order from Intune Marine. That's all I'm going to say right now. We'll talk about that more. Eventually we'll show you what that's going to be. But it's gonna be a while, it takes a while. Supply chain, all that kind of stuff, it takes a while to get a new boat. So this spring, I may not have a boat until May. So I don't know, that's a bit of a conundrum. I don't know if we are gonna be jumping in other people's boats, if I'm gonna borrow boats, if I won't be fishing any tournaments early this season. A lot of unknowns. Right now, I don't know if we're drowning our fear, tears of not having a boat or celebrating that we sold our boat so quickly and we're excited about a new potential boat. Uh, and some, some DMD from Taco Bell, and we'll have a chalupa to wash it down here. But this is a big deal to me. Like, this was the first major boat that I purchased. My previous boat before this one was one that I kind of inherited. Um, and this was the first boat that I went out and purchased. It's actually the first boat that I sold. The older boat died, a tragic death, transom issues. <clears throat> So this is the first time, this is the first boat I've ever bought, the first boat I ever sold. This, at the time when I bought it, was literally, you know, <laughs> pretty much my dream boat at that time. Uh, and now potentially we're looking at a new dream boat, a new opportunity, a new frontier uh, of bass boat in, uh, for me, uh, for the channel, uh, for all of you. So, you know, it's gonna be a few months, but there's gonna be some new videos, some new content and a brand new boat. Uh, should be very exciting. This next boat will be newer and bigger and way more expensive than any boat that I've ever bought. And it's kind of intimidating. It's kind of a, a big step. And so that's what we have to stay in tune for. Hopefully Aaron makes a ton of memories. Hopefully he catches as many big bass and has as much fun as I did in the Bass Cat. And it serves him well for years to come for him and his kids. And he smashes them. That'd be awesome. It's good to see somebody that's passionate about bass fishing. It looks like it's going to a great home. It's going to be out on the water a ton, so that makes me happy. If you're interested in used boats, bass boat setups, and things like that, make sure you check out my past Bass Cat walkthrough video where I showed everything on the boat that Aaron just bought.